Hello, and welcome to Weekend Projects. I'm Bree Pettis, and every week I bring you a project that you can make over the weekend. Except this weekend, we're getting a little bit ambitious. We're gonna work on a prototype rep rap robot. There's a legacy to this project. Dr. Adrian Bauer came up with it and started pushing it forward. Then, Tom McGuire made this really cool robot that's a Cartesian coordinate robot that's a mill. Then, my friend Zach picked up the pace and started a foundation to acquire parts for people who want to make RepRap robots. Hi, my name is Zach Hogan, <laughs> and I am obsessed with RepRap. RepRap is an open source project to build a 3D printer that can one day eventually print its own parts out. So, it consists of a robot system that moves a print head in three dimensions that uh, spits out heated plastic like a really souped up hot glue gun and then it lays that down layer by layer to build up parts out of plastic. Anybody can do this and you can too. This week we're going to start with the electronics. Then in future weeks we're going to work on the hardware and the software to pull this thing, whole thing together and make it all work as a system. Keep in mind that this is an experimental research project. This stuff is all, you know, blazing new trails. You should participate, get started, help out, but there's no guarantees here. We're giving it our best shot and pushing things forward, and hopefully you can do the same and help. These are the circuit boards you're going to need for your RepRap project. We're going to start with a motor controller board. This controls the motor at the top of the extruder that pushes plastic down through the heating element. Now, this can actually drive two motors, but we're just going to use it for one. This is where power goes. This wire is where you hook it up to the Arduino, and we've got some little clips here where you can just plug in your motors. Okay, let's get started putting this together and then testing it out. They're going to start at zero speed, ramp all the way up to maximum speed, stay there for a little bit, and then come back down and just keep doing that over and over and over again. There's the board, there's those, the Arduino takes a few seconds to get, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you can I hear it, line. I see it, it's going, yes! You can find. Yeah, two motors spinning. Now this board can control two motors independently. They're both going the same direction right now, but... We could have them go different directions, the same direction, whatever we want. Next up, we've got the pulse width modulation boards. These send pulses of electricity to motors to make them go faster or slower, but in our case, we're actually gonna send it to nichrome wire. So we're gonna send pulses of electricity to it, and it'll heat it up so that when the motor controller board turns on the motor that pushes the plastic through the extruder, the extruder will be nice and toasty and warm and melt it right down, kind of like hot glue. But we're going to test it out on motors for right now. So this board, it drives three channels. We have an LED fan, another LED fan, and a motor that's going to only be able to turn one way, but look at them, they're all going! And there's LEDs that tell you if it's on. So this program, the tester will bring them all up to the same speed and then all back down and it'll test each one individually as well to let you know that each one's independent. It's satisfying, isn't it? Oh man, this is great. Awesome. High five. High five! <laughs> <laughs> We've got the sensor wrapped in <clears throat> something to protect it from the water and we dip it in. And then it, uh, here we output the temperature and it should go to about 100 degrees. It's at 45, 40, 63, 67. So when the temperature now reaches 95 degrees, we will turn on the DC motor using the PDM controller. This should happen pretty soon now. It's 87, 88, 89, 90. We're getting closer. 94, 95. Oh, it should be going. There it goes. Yes. Awesome. So what we've got here is we've got a temperature probe. It's reading the temperature over the Arduino, and when it hits a certain temperature, it makes the motor go off. Awesome. <laughs> Great. This is the stepper motor controller board, and you're actually going to need three of these. Now, I actually built this one and fried this one. I must have, you know, screwed up the soldering or maybe put something in backwards. Now I have to take it all apart, figure out what I did wrong, and put it on a new board. So it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to actually order up a, an extra one of these boards when you order up your boards. Now... Once this is all put together, it will go ahead and control a stepper motor. You go ahead and you plug your stepper motor in here, and then you plug power in here, and you hook up your Arduino here, and you're all ready to go. I'll put code in the PDFs so that you can copy and paste it in there, and we're going to go ahead and get this thing rolling. 
We've got a 12 volt power source out of a computer. We've got an Arduino f sending commands to the stepper motor board, which then powers up the stepper motor. All right, let's try a few speeds here. That's great. Now you've got these electronics boards done for your RepRap robot, and you've tested them out. This is really exciting. In future weekend projects, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the hardware and then actually program this thing and get it set up so it's actually printing something out. Okay, this is an exciting adventure we're on. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and put these all together. Order up your boards from the RepRap Foundation. Order up your electronics. Solder them up. Test these all out with the motors. And you're one step closer to having your RepRap robot done. Okay, I'm Bree Pettis here in Vienna, Austria. Go out there. Get your RepRap robot action going on and have a great weekend.